Ah, so the theme for World Metrological Day 2021 is the ocean, our climate and weather. This day is observed every year on March 23rd to highlight the importance of the role that people and their behavior play in protecting the Earth's atmosphere. You know, say yesterday we talked about water, today is a continuation. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of times people are not responsible when it comes to care for the planet mm -hmm. and the earth. Yeah, because, I mean, as simple as sachet water, water or pet bottle when they drink, mm -hmm. you just, like, it's so ridiculous. Like, every time I see it happen, I cringe. Like, do you understand, you know? Well, to play devil's advocate, um, as much as the environment is important to all of us, it feels like in this part of the world, we have bigger problems to worry about on a day-to-day. -day. You think? So, well, it's not that I agree with it, but that's the reality. So when other people are talking about getting down to zero emissions, if we can't provide power, if the person can only afford the I better pass your neighbor gen, mm -hmm. um, and that's polluting the environment, then that's our reality. So it's just what it is in this part of the world. Do we need to do more? Yes. But for the everyday man, uh, does he have the choice to not buy that water that's so cheap that he can drink? You know, all these things are all um, solutions to meet needs. Mm. You know, as you're talking, now, that's w what is ringing in my head. That's why they should sell life insurance more. <laughs> because people will be dying more here. Since they don't want, they don't want to just be, be responsible. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. No, but I, I have to put it out there. You know, life insurance is the worst thing to sell in Nigeria. Don't say, God forbid. I don't want to die. Me. But when you're saying it like that, then all of a sudden people will think, oh, do you want me to die? No, don't say it like that. No, but it tells me that I'm at risk of dying from health hazards. So I should actually take off a life insurance. I was just going to be sarcastic. <laughs> see that this is how today is going to play out. You know, Niger Nigerians are, how, how do I even put it? They don't believe in these things. Hmm. They yeah. Just, Jesus. <laughs> see, they're very religious. Very, very religious. Even if you tell them, see, if you do your car like this, you have accident. They say, go for beat. <laughs> go. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so, um, hmm. Um, the deadly Ebola virus first emerged in 1976 in Congo, and today they've started um, a countdown to the official end of the latest outbreak of Ebola. Mm. I'm so happy for them. Um, I think they tested the last guy that had um, the virus um, sometime, I think it was last week or this week, and they said he tested negative for Ebola. Wow, fantastic. So it's actually, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, it's an good amazing, news for yeah, them. it's good news and amazing progress so mm. far. So we thank God. Since 1976? Ha. Ha. Wow, that's so a sorry. long time. That's a long that's time. That's a long time. All right, Uti Elu. Ha. I'm so excited about this story. <laughs> hey. All the weight you have Foodies. <laughs> You'll be all right. Foodies of Lagos unite <laughs> at this point. I feel like there used to be a drum roll. <laughs> Burger King is about to hit our shores <laughs> now i don't know how you people feel about burgers but huh. can you ensure your waistline <laughs> <laughs> i'm not jello now <laughs> i'm just asking but <laughs> don't, don't leave me these guys have the whoppers in my opinion the one of the best burgers on the planet technically they win the fries game against mcdonald's but anyway Foodies, we're on a countdown. Burger King is coming to Lagos. They're opening a few outlets. And I'm just very excited. I, like, I heard Burger King and I was like, when? When? <laughs> Open now. Open now. Yeah. Um, I think there was a, I think, what was that brand? Road Chef. I remember when Road Chef first opened. I was there like every other day. Mm -hmm. So I see it happening. You know, it's all fine. You, know, you eat the burger. You maybe walk an extra 10,000 steps. It's all give and take. But I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I really hope, I really hope this franchise they're about I'm to open to in Nigeria is going to, going to still please. give us quality burger. Uh, because if I'm being honest, okay, so I'm a food blogger on the side, and yeah. I hardly ever find very good burger in Lagos. I can count on my no, there's no on one hand. So, there's no good burger. No, the burgers that are nice in Lagos are high-end burgers. The burgers that were good, like I said, Road Chef was excellent. Um, Johnny Rockets, let's not go this way. <laughs> like, there's no time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not but, and I also hope it is not too expensive. 
Yesterday I went to a restaurant and the burger is 9,000 naira. Kilo Dave, no, hang on, like, hang on. There's nothing wrong with the 9,000 naira burger. What yeah. you need to ask yourself is what kind of beef is it? I mean, if it's Wagyu beef, it's 9,000 naira. How much is steak when you have steak? If somebody is blending a fillet steak to make a burger, then it will be expensive. But I'm sure, Burger King is like Waste like insurance right? loading. I'm giving you a business. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> it's affordable. Well, so, you know, I mean, typically here, we have 3,000 naira. Mm. But here's the thing that I'm interested in finding out. Yeah. Will they sell jollof rice? Like, uh, everybody <laughs> that comes to Nigeria, you know you have to sell you rice. Yes, yeah, jollof rice. rice. The yes. Indian element. Exactly. So, if Domino's is selling shawarma, mm -hmm. I just want to see if they're going to sell rice. Mm. All right. So, my story actually is like, um, almost like a continuation of what we talked about, World Water Day yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, so, Israel. This is the funny caption. Um, Israel is reaffirming le um, leading... Um, role in water recycling globally and you know when uh, when I read through this um, this story you know part of what they have suffered this desertification a lot of droughts mm -hmm. and you know and yet they are able to still provide you know sustainable drinkable water to their citizens mm -hmm. the only challenge that they are facing currently is just um, what's it called the agri sector where they are not able to meet up with the more. demands for for what's it called for farmers, you know, yeah. in, in the agri sector. So, and also one very funny post beside it, our fellow association of what did they call themselves? Association of water, um, association of what bottle water, pet bottle, pet bottle water <laughs> in Nigeria, saying that um, the price, oh. yes, that's it. They explain the spike in the cost of table water in the local market. So, so in my head, I'm thinking one country is here thinking how they are able to. Despite all the challenges that they have, they're able to provide drinkable water to their citizens. Our own country, we don't, our own government is not even talking about water. It's more of them, an, associ an association talking about the cost of production, because they explained it that the cost of production for a pet bottle, you know, pet bottle used to be like 15 naira and all of that, but the cost of production right now is going, is going up, you know, and so they do not have that choice. There has to be, you know, a spike in uh, the bottled water that we drink. So it's just like, it, for me, it was just so ironic. I'm wondering, okay, I thought that, I mean, why we're so blessed in this country that so many things that you shouldn't, it's tiring. <laughs> it's tiring. I'm not going to say anything, because if I say it, you'll see. So I'm quiet. <laughs> it's really tiring, honestly. So when I saw it, I just said, wow, I, I, I was thinking this should be what Nigeria should be doing, you know. Providing drinkable water, you should open your tap and you should be able to drink water from your tap. Oh, stop it. Ah, it is Can well. they keep you safe? It is well, it is well, it is well. Let's You're not going go as far as We're talking insurance today. I want life safety. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.